Hey, Seth with Electric here, and today we're at the Electrek Formula Sun Grand Prix in Topeka, Kansas. The Formula Sun Grand Prix is a three-day track endurance event. Uh, the teams get three days with eight hours of driving time each day, 24 driving hours total, uh, to complete as many laps as possible. In, in terms of how these cars are scored, this is a competition. We have a whole timing and scoring room going on right now. So there's two classes of vehicles. There's the single occupant vehicle class, SOV, and the multi-occupant vehicle class, MOV. For the SOV class, it's very simple. It's the most number of laps over the 24 driving hours wins. For the multi-occupant vehicle class, it's a little more complicated. Those teams are basically trying to optimize around a scoring formula to figure out which of the vehicles out here is the most efficient. So they definitely get lots of credit for completing laps on the track. They get even more credit for including passengers in their vehicle as they complete those laps. And then they're also trying to maintain a minimum average target speed. And they're trying to use as little external energy as possible because they actually get to design how big they want their battery pack to be. fun to see all the camaraderie and all the competition here. Um, we got a lot of battery and motor and solar nerdery going on. I think one of the, the most fun parts, I mean obviously the, the race is cool and it's like nutty to see these cars that are running on sun go so fast, um, but I think probably the more exciting part or the more rewarding part is seeing uh, all the kids at the docks working on their cars, taking apart their cars. Uh, when there's a problem with a car, everybody kind of jumps to, into action and they work on a fix. And it, it's not like your normal school day where you open a book and you study something. This is like real time, real world application. So I think these kids are getting a lot of, um, I don't want to say extracurricular, but I think it's more real world kind of experience. And I, and I know from the recruiters here that this is uh, like shooting fish in a barrel. Uh, just everybody here is automatically uh, recruitable and employable. I'm with uh, team number 786, Sunseeker from Western Michigan University. Go Broncos! So our strategy focuses on staying around our break-even point and also staying in the more efficient mode of operation for our motor. So our car is quite heavy, and so with that, our break-even speed has to drop down. This is another challenge we face. And we have to essentially stay at the minimum speed that is required for our motor to be in that upper gear, so to speak, for lack of a better term. The world Ohio State, if I had any advice, I would say try to get your electrical system done way before the race. Don't underestimate how much it's going to take. Yeah. Um, you can only solder so much in a day, in a night, <laughs> yeah. um, and it, it takes a while to do every little thing. It's going to be super hot, so we're super concerned about the safety of our drivers and the people in the vehicle, because if they're not safe and awake, they can make decisions that may be poor on track. So we want them to be awake and alert in order to be safe on track. So the other thing we want to do is we want to go fast. We want to have a great time. Um, our competition has been super tight with Esteban, so we're just having a good time. Yeah, well, Upstate is uh, our only MOV competitor this year. I think we have an upper hand on them uh, because of our efficiency. So they go for more more distance, they're going to do more laps, but uh, with our, our efficiency and battery, uh, we are probably going to come out on top. What makes our very cool uh, very efficient is our small battery pack, uh, very lightweight in general, and aerodynamics. And all that 
makes it possible for us to almost not charge in the wall at all. That's our look at the Electric Formula Sun Grand Prix. Uh, thank you for joining us here. Thanks to all the students, all the administration and staff for hosting us. Uh, it's been a really great, worthwhile experience, um, and we hope to see you next year.